Okay, let's take a look at Kevin Sorbo, who plays Hercules in the Hercules Legendary Journeys. So, to start off with, there's a quite um, calm but serious look on the face. And despite the serene look, there is a very intense look in the eyes, which, to me, is a male energy. So, you know, he's got um, a brow ridge and a long forehead, pronounced cheekbones, jaw looks you know, fairly strong, there's a cleft chin which is more common on men, the mouth is uh, fairly wide, which is more of a male dimension, more pronounced features including the nose, does seem to have a widow's peak, but I don't think that's enough to say that a man isn't a man. Here he is a bit older, with his very long forehead again. <laughs> um, maybe this is a receding hairline now, I'm not sure. You can see there is a sloping brow, brow ridge, quite a gap between the nose and the mouth. Still the still the strong chin and you know fairly fairly wide jaw, quite large ears. So he's had some major health problems, I believe they began while he was filming Hercules. And I think he's written a book and everything. He's gone through a lot, so he's not um doesn't appear quite so virile anymore. But he also doesn't look like an old lady to me, so it's looking masculine. His wife, who I think he met while filming Hercules. I don't know, to me, this this looks like an MTF. He's got the same wide mouth as a male. Looking like we're seeing a brow ridge. Looking like we've got some pronounced cheekbones. Mm, something going on in the neck here. Her from about the Hercules days. Not an overly strong facial structure, but the jaw is quite, quite wide. Him from a bit younger years, with this, is this the eighties? <laughs> um, yeah, those eyes. That is a very intense male gaze. I mean, as a woman, I I do feel like it's easy to to sense this kind of gaze. It always makes me uncomfortable. Like I kind of wanna look away, and you don't feel that way when looking into a woman's eyes, so yeah, you can see collarbones, you can see Adam's apple down there, cleft chin. I believe his parents were fully Norwegian immigrants to America, so he does have a Norwegian look, and I think he's about six foot three or something, he's quite, quite tall indeed. So yeah, looking very male to me. As a child, looking like a kind of a kind of geeky boy, but definitely a boy. Big teeth, gap between the nose and the mouth. Yeah, quite thin face, which you know suits uh, the general appearance of a young boy. He's had some children with his wife, who I really don't know if that's actually a wife or if it's a MTF being. Does seem to have something going on in the neck. Strong facial structure, head about the same same basic size as his, except his the top of his skull is longer. It's got quite a long skull, so. She does have big hands though. Yeah, both of them have big hands. I think she's very tall as well, like five eleven or six foot. A very tall woman. I'm not sure what's going on here. Is this supposed to be her pregnant? Because this back doesn't look very female. It looks like she's bending back a bit, but it hardly bends. And if this is a rear, I don't really see how that's a female rear. And yeah, this this looks odd. Long arm. Both have big hands. Sloping brow. It's, it's an odd shape, but I do think his his general um, appearance is consistent with 
a Norwegian look. Since she doesn't have a very sloping brow, but does have the big tranny mouth and the big teeth, and the odd neck thing. Her head does look smaller than his hair. Skull. Um, again, the weird trachea. Quite a fine collarbone. She seems to have quite a powerful energy in the eyes as well. That mouth is just so wide. She's a cleft chin too, you can't really see it here, but I remember... Maybe it's just a chin dimple, but there is something with her chin. <laughs> okay. Again, this picture for the, the male energy, I'd, I don't know. I feel like if you were a man, that would feel more like a challenge, and if you are a woman, well, it feels like something else, but... The gauntness of the face, pronounced cheekbones, that... The hair growth, facial hair growth, does seem uh, consistent with male hair growth. It's not... It's not the weak kind of um, beard that a lot of FTMs get. So... with the wife again. Check out those hands, though. She's a bit confusing because, yeah, her hands don't look that big, but he does have big hands. So, loose shirt, but does look like we've got a very straight torso and definitely straight legs here. On both of them. Again, with the energy. Cleft chin. The upper lip is a bit smaller. Um, than you'd expect on a biologically female person, which is consistent with being male, of course. Again, both quite big hands, her neck, that, this picture just, I look at that and immediately I think, wow, that, that's got to be a man. The jaw, the everything about that, it's got to be a man. And... Yeah, yet his head is still a bit bigger. He is tall though, so I think we've got two dudes here. Here he is with his sons. I don't know if those are really sons. They do seem related to him. They do have a they do have an appearance of him, so again I don't know how these people the big actors, the elite, I don't know how they precisely reproduce, but I would say Likely genetic matches. Can't vouch for what gender they might be. But I'm pretty sure he's male. And here we go, very straight torso. Straight legs. You know, if it was a girl we'd be seeing more going on around here, but nope. The broad, broad shoulders. And the slope here is just muscle. It's not the, the whole basic structure of a woman. Um, you know, the muscle structure does look masculine to me. Also, I, I think this is actually his real hair, and um, I've heard that taking testosterone for women will often cause male pattern baldness very early. I don't know how you could uh, <laughs> maintain this hair if you were losing it through testosterone. I mean, maybe they did something like implanted or something, but no, you know, this is, this looks like a man to me. Again, with the male energy. Mm. Yeah, all the same features we've already spoken about. And here he is having gained a bit of weight. But you can see through this gap here, the back is definitely straight behind there. The weight is all gained here at the front in the stomach, just like men gain weight. You know, like, there's a little bit up here at the chest, but it doesn't look... You know, some of the FTMs, um, like... I'm thinking of Hugo Weaving in particular, when they when they have these beach shots, you see this, this huge curve to the waist and the figure and everything, but this just looks like male weight gain. Very long-looking arms, too. Yeah, looks like an older guy. Some very interesting faces going on here. Um, 
Yeah, so looks like a dude and a dude. I'm kind of inclined to believe that this is actually a girl. And, uh, you know, I'd like to believe these are actually boys because I, I don't want people to be doing this satanic transgendering to their innocent children. But, you know, we have here some kind of family. You can see the sloping, sloping uh, brow here. It's the main, the main feature of this image. Again with the family. Not the big hands, the thick neck. Stuff going on in the neck. <laughs> Even going on over here too. Big tranny mouth. Brow ridge, brow ridge. Another shot from the show, which so blurry you can see the square jaw. Uh, just everything about the structure looks essentially quite broad male. Again with the just essentially male appearance. Same here. I think this is quite similar to an earlier picture, but the brow ridge. Cheekbones, strong jaw, cleft chin, male looking mouth, male looking nose, male looking eyes. Now I've heard people say that he's got very pretty eyes and therefore can't be female, but um this is a Scandinavian eye look, the kind of tilted upward at the edges, the cat eye look. And with men, because they have a more pronounced uh, brow ridge. It often means that they'll have a more, more defined upper eyelid, and so this kind of heavy-lidded, um, dreamy eye look is actually male. The doe-eyed look isn't female at all, though we've been sold it for the last few decades. Very fierce. All these uh, chiseled male facial dimensions. Hips, hip bones would be right about here, I reckon. Shoulder bones are here, definitely wider than the hips. Looking very creature like here. He just looking kind of unwell, which wouldn't surprise me given the story of him being unwell. Again, a bit of an odd shape, but I do see this kind of um, rounded shape to the upper part of the skull, I have seen that in some German men and men from Scandinavia, like Sweden, and well, he's from his heritage is from Norway, so it fits. Another one of the beach shots with the, the little paunch, back looking totally straight. Don't have any, any telltale curves coming up from here. Got the Adam's apple. Looking, looking male. Slopes where they should be. No curves where they shouldn't be. Mm. Again, you can see all the dimensions as we've discussed. Very, very sturdy male looking hands with the tendons and veins and everything that just, it screams male. And here, there's such a straightness to the dimensions here that you wouldn't have if it was a girl. You'd have more of a curve out, but we've got straight legs and quite a, quite a defined kneecap. Can't really tell about the size of the feet, but they do look... it looks pretty big to me. Looks male. Mm, yeah, the pectorals look natural too. There's no weird, um, droopy shape to anything here. Proper collarbones, proper neck, proper kind of squareness and general correctness to the abdominal muscles. Doesn't look like some scary steroid balloon man. He looks like a real man. Just a very built real man. And again, built real man. As I discussed in the last picture, seems about right. Head definitely be about 
three on the shoulders. Now he's doing this, which apparently is the sign of the Baphomet. I wonder if maybe even the ones who aren't personally transgendered will do this sign because possibly they will worship it. You know, maybe maybe there's different means of worshipping. Maybe some people are doing rituals. I don't know if they still do those. Maybe some people um, come into it and they're the first generation and they have to promise to uh, change their children. Maybe there are some who are supposed to be biological ones who are only breeders. You know, I don't know. But it, it could be he worships, or it could just be that he's not a part of it and is just doing what he thinks is the peace sign, because I sure know a lot of people who do this thinking it's just the peace sign. <laughs> so I don't know. But again, we've got the... These definitely look like male hips and male legs. And again, male hips. Uh, seeing the Adonis belt here. The navel. You know, here's the male hips, so... Waist indentation looks about the same, and... The hips are below, so this is correct male appearance. You know, these mus this musculature does look normal for a man to me. Well, I wouldn't say normal, but like it looks like a built man to me. <laughs> yep, the big hands, the these hips are not female. Definitely, definitely not female. He's a dude. Mmm blurry again, sorry. But yeah, just, you know, from head to toe this guy looks like a guy, and you'd have to get me some pretty good evidence to convince me he's not. Trickia, cheekbones, jaw, chin, everything looking male, body looking male. That, that bit, the, what's that called, the latticeness dorsi, doesn't look doesn't look strange, looks like it would on a normal male. Large ribcage, like on a normal male. Another picture with the children. You know, he, he just looks like a guy. He's daring us to think otherwise, <laughs> by the look in the eyes here. Oh, this is great, it's, it's high definition so you can see the the appearance of the skin, which looks very male to me, it's kind of, kind of rough, and, you know, he's got some lines here and there, um, but they, you know, the aging looks consistent with a kind of, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, I can't think of the word, they always described Humphrey Bogart as this, they're kind of, well, anyway, it's it's another word for something like rugged. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think of it. Um, but he has that look, whatever it is. Um, yeah, the, the facial hair doesn't look overly, overly wild here, but I don't know. Still looks duty, duty. <laughs> uh, this woman played, I think, Hercules' wife on the show, but it's not a woman. Look at that face, that's not a woman. I love it when there's really obvious ones that just, it kind of makes you think again, oh, we're doing this right because there are some that are so obvious that we don't need to get too confused about it altogether. So yeah, the brow ridge, the cheekbones, the jaw, the, this gaunt, gaunt face line just like men have, like women have. Another adolescent shot. Looks like a dude. All the facial dimensions look very dude-like. Wider set eyes. Broader mouth to match. No. Yeah. Oh, this this is not obviously related to him in any way except for that it was on the show. But I remember when I saw this, I was just horrified. We've got some silicone sacks. Um, male hips, male everything. It's it's a bodybuilder with pectorals with silicone sacks on top and everything about it is male and it's got it's got plastic surgery and when you see things this obvious 
you know, and they're sold to you as female, you just wonder what's going on. And I'm kind of grateful for the obvious ones like this because when you see something this strange, you know, if you don't want to wake up, you'll stay asleep. But if you want to wake up, you'll say, what the heck is going on? What is this thing? It looks like, it doesn't look like any female I've ever seen. Well, that's a interesting, um, fishnet thing. Um, but yeah, the shape. It's like, it's the inverted pyramid male shape. Wide shoulders, narrow hips. Him and the wife again. The man, wife, two men. Two men again. Intense gaze in both of their eyes. With another man. Seeing the same features of the pronounced cheekbones. Strong jaw. Thick necks. His wife again. That brow ridge. Yep, she does have, in some of these younger pictures, and some of the shots, you know, she does look quite convincingly feminine. But when you see from other angles, it, you know, she does have quite a broad jaw, and there are just there's just something off, something off about her. There's something off, <laughs> as I said. Square-looking face, very, very square. And I think you see a bit of the dimple I mentioned before. I'm not really sure what that that is, but. Something going on there too. Okay, this is just long neck, some bony bits, um, that mouth that is definitely a huge male mouth with lipstick, big, big hands, and yeah, everything looking male here. Dimensions, bone structure, I'm convinced. Two dudes again. Mm, I don't know. So there you have it. I think Kevin Sorbo is a biological male. <laughs>